All right, here's our third in a series of Excel magic tricks that are dealing with consecutive numbers. Hey, in our first Excel magic trick, we looked at conditional formatting. Then we looked at Power Query group kind local to extract records where the weights are listed consecutively three or more times. But in this video, we want to see with a worksheet formula, what is the max number of times that each weight was listed consecutively? Now I want to hide column G to M, so right click Hide. And we need a unique set of weights, so we'll use the amazing sort. And inside of sort, we'll use unique. Here's the weight column, close, close, and there's our list. Now for each one, I need the max number of consecutive occurrences. And we're going to use the frequency function. And actually, I learned this amazing trick 12 years ago at the Mr. Excel message board from Colin Legg. Now data, we need some data. And then somehow we need bins that will count the consecutive items. So here's this ingenious trick. We're going to say if any of the weights are equal to the 100, that's a relative cell reference, so we'll copy it down. If we get a true for this row, 100, just tell me what row that is. And we can pick the same column. Now let's close, and we'll leave out false, because when we leave that out, it'll put a false in. And for data array, let's hit the F9 key. So what we have for 100 is there's an in the 18th row and the 36th and 37th. Well, what if for bins array, we could somehow get a number in this last category here. Well, the way the frequency works is whatever number you give it in bins, that's the upper limit. So what we'll do is here we said equal 100. The next argument in bins will use if with not equal to 100. And then where all the falses are, those will be numbers. There'll be a number right there, which will count as an upper limit, the 18. And there'll be a number right there to count both of those. So for 100, they'll just be 1 and 2. So the max will be 2. Control Z. And guess what? All I have to do is copy this from data array, comma, bins array, Control V. And instead of equals, I say not equal, less than, greater than. And now if I click bins array and F9, sure enough, there's a bunch of numbers. But only that 19 will get a count of 1 there, and the 38 will get a count of 2. All the other ones will be 0. Control Z. And that is how we get the frequency for consecutive occurrences. Now let's F9. Sure enough, there's a 1 and a 2. Now we just Control Z, put it inside a max. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. And there you go, the 300. In fact, that beautiful formula counted four times because that's the max number of occurrences for 300. Now here's your bonus. If you want to spill that frequency formula, then you have to use map or by row to iterate over this array here. Then in the second argument, we define a lambda, which is defining a custom function. We define the variable r. There's the calculation, which instead of a relative cell reference, we put the r. And bam, that will spill the results. Now lambda will be in the upcoming MEX video number 10. But that's your bonus for this video. And in our little mini series, we saw some fun with consecutive numbers, conditional formatting, power query to extract, and the amazing frequency if and max for max consecutive occurrences for each item. All right, we'll see you next video.